Hello, this is a little tutorial for you on how to set up a Google Analytics account. Um, so a Google Analytics account is free and it's what helps you track the visitors that come to your website. Um, so you'll need a Gmail account or a Google account to actually set up your free Google Analytics account. Um, if you don't have one, just setting up a Google account is free. Um, so we just need to type into Google Google Analytics and find the official website for it. And what we need to do is create an account. Okay, so if you already have a Gmail account, um, then you'll need to type in your Gmail email address and password. If you don't already have one, just go here and click sign up and do that first, okay? Alrighty, so it's very, very easy to actually go through all these steps um, and it's set up for really basic users, so you don't need to have any tech technological sort of know-how to be able to do this because it's just very, you know, step one, two, three, that kind of thing. So we're going to press sign up. Okay. And it gives you the two options. Um, and it wants to know, do I want to track a website or an app that I've created? Um, and most of the time you'll be wanting to track a website that you've created or that a designer has created for you. Um, and the old system used to be called, we used to just sort of track a few different things, but now there's a, a new um, sort of universal analytics. So just utilize the newest one, which is universal analytics. Um, and you can enter the website address that you want to be tracking. Um, so. I'm going to put in one of my websites. Okay. Oh, sorry. We want to um, put in the website name here. So we'll put all Eric graphic design and then the actual address in here. Okay. Um, select your industry because that does actually help. Um, so I'm going to go what is mine let's just go arts and entertainment okay and my time zone will be Australia there we go Northern Sydney time okay and then my account name I'm just going to put um, and then you can choose whether you want to be able to share that um, information with Google. Um, unless you have something to hide, just keep them all ticked because it is helpful. And then we want to get a tracking ID. Okay, and I'm just going to read the terms and conditions, blah, 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 blah and I accept. Okay, so I've got my one tracking code. Now, um, this is my tracking ID here. Um, for some websites that you set up, you'll need to actually copy this whole um, HTML script here, whereas for other ones, you'll only need the tracking ID. Um, so I'm going to give you an example of replying it to a Wix website. So I've got one open here. Um, now, if I go into pages, I think it is, and settings and SEO, oh, no, it's not in there. Let's just try and remember where it actually is. Here we go. I think it's in the settings and statistics. Here we go. Okay, so statistics and Google Analytics. And it says to set your Google Analytics ID, please go to Manage Premium Domain Tabs. Okay, so I actually need to not be in the editor of my Wix site, but I need to be in the Accounts, Domains, and 
Okay, and then we can go manage. Okay, and then here it gives us the opportunity to put the Google Analytics code in. So I would just click on change and I would just paste just the um, number there. Um, so this isn't the site that I'm wanting to apply it to. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how you do it. And it does actually take a couple of days to be able to start tracking. Um, so I can't actually show you on this one. But what I'm going to do is sign out and go into my other Google Analytics code, uh, sorry, Google Analytics account, just so that I can show you um, what it actually looks like when it starts tracking. Okay. And you can obviously track more than one website. Um, but you just need a main website. Oh, it's not liking that because I'm logged into something else. Okay. So here I've got lots of different um, websites. And um, I want to go in and just have a look at um, where people are coming from. Uh, on one of my sites and what information Google Analytics is able to show me. Um, so you can see here that first is an audience overview and it just shows me how many visits every day I'm getting to the site. Um, and you can obviously change, this is from the last week, um, but you can actually change you know, your views here to see whether you want to look at the last year or the last three months or something like that. And then you can go down and have a look at you know how many page views there were, how many visits, the average time on the site, um, the bounce rate. So if they looked at just the front page and then left, that's a bounce. Um, and then you know is it all new visitors or is it returning visitors as well? And then we come down here a little bit more and we can see um, the demographics. Okay, so we can see most of them spoke English, um, U.S. English, um, and then we have. Uh, from Great Britain English and Australian English. Um, a lot of computers though, say for example in Australia, might be set up as US English. So uh, to me that doesn't really, you know, I would just include all of those into one. Um, but then we do have a few others that are speaking different languages. And then you can actually do it by country. So you can see that uh, actually, even though some people have their um, computer set on US English or UK English, they're really more from Australia. Um, a few from New Zealand, a few from the States, China, Hong Kong, all different places. Um, and then you can see cities as well. So Sydney and Melbourne, majority where I'm from. Um, and yeah, very easy to look at. You can also see what kind of browser they're using. Um, so a lot of them are using Safari. So that means that they're either on a Mac or on their iPhone. Um, so I would suggest that they're probably on their iPhone because um, Safari is the highest one. So that's interesting to know that, you know, you just have to make sure that, you know, when it's, when your website is viewed on an iPhone, it's looking really nice and everything's working properly. Okay. And then obviously Chrome is the, you know, the second most used in the world, followed by Internet Explorer. Okay. Um, what operating system are they using? Most of them are using Windows. Um, service provider, not that you would ever need to know that, but <laughs> for some reason you might. Um, and then if they're on a mobile, it shows you as well. Um, so you can see most of the people that have visited with a mobile are using um, Apple iPhones. And then the others are using Androids. Service providers again, screen resolution, you know, just in case that applies. Okay, and then we can also look at other things. So um, we've already looked at the demographics. So we can look at the behavior, so new versus returning. Um, and it just shows us a little bit more um, detailed information here. Frequency, that kind of thing. Um, and then engagement. Um, so this is really handy to know as to how many seconds they stayed on the site. Um, visitor flow is quite an interesting one to have a look at. Um, so we can see different pages that they're coming from and where they where they dropped off. 
Okay, so a lot of them dropped off on the main page, which is called Bounce. Um, and then, you know, dropping off in various spots. So it is really good to be able to know where they left the site, um, especially if you've got a e-commerce site. And if they're leaving at the cart without purchasing, um, then, you know, maybe you'll need to look at, you know, how much postage you're charging. Okay. Um, traffic sources is another really major one that um, is really good. So, um, so usually the main one will be keyword not provided. Um, but then it'll also give you, you know, different ones that they've actually used to find your site. Um, and this is the main area that I like to have a look at during um, having a look at Google Analytics because once you can sort of figure out what keywords they're using, you can utilize those to go in and do some Google advertising. Um, and it, it also sort of says, you know, where they actually came from, if there's any referral traffic. So we can see that, um, you know, this, this person is referring me so I can go and have a look at that actual site. Um, and go and see, you know, what they've put up about my um, this site that I'm looking at, so I can, you know, maybe kind of try and get there from there. Okay. Um, oh, and we can actually go and have a look at oh, Webmaster Tools um, is another thing that is really good to be able to set up. It's free, and it helps Google troll your site so that um, people can find your site on Google. We'll go through that in a different one though. Um, social. Um, so this goes through the different social platforms um, that people are finding your site through. So Blogger and Facebook um, is showing as mine. This is just a small site for me. Um, and then we have content and it just shows you which pages they've been clicking on the most okay or viewing um, and then conversions obviously is more if you have an e-commerce store um, so which ones are actually going in and then actually purchasing something once they get there um, so that's just a basic overview of Google Analytics and how you set it up and how you go through all the content to actually try and figure out you know what people are doing on your site and then you can use that information to try and get more people to your website okay thanks